Hey guys, Miss Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. In this video, I'm taking you through all that I ate today, continuing on with the keto lifestyle. So let's jump right into the video. Starting my day off early, breaking my intermittent fast, I am going to have some matcha tea. This is green matcha tea. You guys may not be fully aware of what matcha tea is as I have just been introduced to it myself. So basically matcha tea has 10 times more antioxidants than regular green tea. So it's better to drink matcha green tea rather than regular green tea. So instead of drinking multiple cups of green tea, you could just drink one or two cups of matcha tea and get better results. The matcha tea that I am drinking is from Tea Me. And basically what it does is it boosts your metabolism. It blocks the body's absorption of fat cells. It also boosts your energy. It's great because the caffeine and the alkaline base won't get you jittery. So like, you know how in keto we drink the bullet coffee and you could get jittery drinking that type of bullet coffee. You can substitute it with the matcha green tea. If you look up Starbucks matcha tea, that they sell it's filled with sugar this right here has zero sugar so I'm gonna drink the ceremonial um matcha tea today because that has absolutely nothing added in it it's very pure and it's ideal for weight loss because nothing has been added um, to it and plus I'm doing keto if you're not doing keto and you're just low carb or even paleo I would suggest the raspberry one if you don't want to do the ceremonial one the raspberry one is so delicious like my boyfriend also drinks that one he loves it it has six sugars and six carbs so because it has raspberry in it so the raspberry matcha tea is a great refreshing drink uh, a nice healthy beverage you can drink you can drink it cold or you can drink it hot I'm making mine hot today and I'm um, also you can put it in food you can put it in shakes and things like that like it's so it's so many endless ways to actually drink matcha tea i know it's like the craze hype in the health world right now but um it's actually really good for you you can get this matcha tea from teamycompany.com i'm gonna leave the link down below i also found the coupon code it's five percent off the site anything you want to use off the site i'll link it down below for you so you can um check it out because that's what i use so yeah i'm basically gonna just make it and i'm adding a little bit of coconut oil in it to add extra healthy fats and that's how i'm starting my morning off it doesn't really have a taste. The ceremonial one doesn't really have a taste um, to me. I don't really taste anything. I can taste the coconut oil in it a little. It adds that hit of pure fresh coconut um, oil, but that's really it. It doesn't really have a taste. I sip it slow, warm, and stuff like that. It's good. I like it. I do recommend you try it. And like I said, it keeps you full, So and it helps your metabolism. Now I'm just going to make me some breakfast. It's about two hours later. I'm going to go ahead and make a small little light breakfast. I'm just going to simply boil some eggs and make some sausage in the oven. And that is going to be my breakfast. Nothing big here. Now it's time for lunch. For lunch, I decided I wanted chicken, bacon, Caesar salad. It's been an obsession of mine. And these are the seasonings I'm gonna use to season my chicken 
and um, I'm using some grass-fed butter as well unsalted and yeah you guys can take note of the seasonings I'm using I'm keeping it very simple I'm gonna just boil two more eggs here and then I'm going to um, crisp up some bacon really simple you know keto yay you can have bacon hey guys I'm sorry if you can't tell I really I still haven't adjusted to this lifestyle I still don't like it so I'm not excited about this lifestyle but you know I do have a weight loss update coming up for you guys soon probably three videos from now it'll be um at the end of this month beginning of next month I will update you guys so yeah this is my bacon it's looking really really good I'm going to just let that cook up and crisp up really well and I'm going to drain the excess fats and um blot it and then I'm going to get started on my chicken. I'm using some chicken tenderloins, just really small chicken breasts, sliced really thin. And I'm going to go ahead and um, squeeze some lemon on it, just a half a lemon on it. And I'm going to season it with the seasonings I showed you in the beginning of this and I'm just gonna put enough to my desired taste I'm making two salad bowls I'm adding some garlic and then I'm adding the seasonings and then I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter in my nonstick pan and I'm going to cook it for approximately four to six minutes um, three minutes on each side give or take they're really small and thin so it doesn't take long to cook this chicken at all and yeah we'll be ready to make our salad here I have some nice crisp green romaine lettuce leaves that I cleaned and I let dry and now I'm going to just chop it up like so and yeah divvy out the bowls for the salad I got these bowls from a restaurant whenever I buy salad outside I just recycle them I save them I didn't necessarily go out and order these bowls no they came from salads that I bought from restaurants I just recycle them so I'm gonna just go ahead and divvy them out and then I'm going to get my toppings ready for my toppings I'm using some purple onions or red onion whatever I'm gonna slice it really thinly and I'm using the eggs um, just two eggs one for each of us and of course the bacon and the chicken I'm gonna go ahead and slice everything to my liking my desire and I'm going to build my salad it's very simple it is um, a current obsession of mine right now I can eat the salad all day every single day I'm literally obsessed with the salad you guys know I don't really do dressing with my salads if you want a little dressing make it healthy and make sure it's good for your keto lifestyle but for me this is just how I'm going to enjoy my salad So for dinner, I'm keeping it simple. I'm making a whole chicken and I'm just gonna season the chicken with the same exact seasonings that I use for the chicken breast earlier. It came out really good. So I decided, let me just make a whole chicken like that. And yeah, I'm just gonna add my lemon to it. I made sure that I cleaned my chicken. Do what thy wilt in your kitchen. I'm just gonna season this off just like I did the, the previous chicken it's the same thing and I'm adding a little bit of butter to the skin because I want it to get nice golden brown and crispy and I'm also adding it underneath the, the skin of it to, for extra moisture and that keeps your chicken really 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 juicy I'm gonna bake it in the oven for approximately an hour and a half to two hours until it's well done and reached internal temperature very crispy on the outside I don't use a thermometer I just know how to cook so yeah and my oven is on 380 degrees and yeah this is um about 
about the last 10 minute mark I'm gonna add onions and peppers to this and I'm gonna place it back in the oven and then it's going to be done after that I'm going to take it out the oven I'm gonna let it rest on my counter for 20 minutes because I want all the juices to seep back into my um, chicken do not cut your chicken right away let it rest that is the best thing you can do for yourself and yeah after you let it rest for 20 minutes go ahead and plate it so I'm just having it with some broccoli add a nice little piece on the side for me and this is it that was my final meal because of my restricted lifestyle right now I had to completely cut out snacking because I like I'm literally confused of this lifestyle it, I cannot stand it um, my nutritionist and my doctor gave me a list of things that I can and cannot have but it's just so confusing I don't snack anymore I just eat when I'm supposed to eat which is fine because I intermittent fast anyway and I'm full anyway after I eat if I do feel like I I'm hungry some more I'll probably snack on some more chicken or so but I'm pretty much good and set I cut off my food at a specific point this is pretty much it this is everything I ate today I really hope you guys enjoy this video and thumbs it up if you found it informative hopefully it can inspire you to stay on your keto lifestyle share some recipes down below in the comment section of things that you enjoy while eating low carb and keto so yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye